This is Dave from the Centurions Review, and this is a unboxing of They Invaded Pleasantville, Game of Alien Infiltration. I read the rules. Uh, it's definitely a unique game. Um, rules seem a little bit clumsy, but uh, we'll get into that in a bit. But uh, definitely the author uh, had some was a creative person, so I'll give him that. Uh, it's for two players, age 12 and up. And it's got the nice box that the TSR mini games use. There's the dice. These look a little bit bigger than the dice in the other TSR uh, mini games I got uh, when I bought this. Let's open it up. Oh, one thing I want to point out, I got this in a lot of three games. This one's actually missing some counters and I knew about that before I bought it, but uh, I saw online someone had a picture of the unpunched counter, so I can just uh, print up the unpunched counters and uh, mount them and uh, make new counters for the ones that are missing. That's no big deal. These counters basically are just words and numbers with a star on the back, so um, making my own one isn't going to be that big of a deal. Uh, let me sh show you the uh, map. It's a map of Pleasantville, and it's got all, uh, all these buildings and stuff. As you can see, it's a uh, it's not artistic artistically it's not a very good map like this brown down here actually is a uh, railroad so I don't know it looks like the map was made by someone who does not have a, uh, a PhD in uh, fine arts so uh, the buildings these black squares are those are the uh, doors to get in and the counters uh, have a letter on them the letter shows uh, where on the map the counter starts enders and alien boss who's uh, hidden on the board somewhere and and the alien player just writes down where he's hidden um, let's go to the rule book Let me read you the blurb on it to give you a better idea what the game's about. They've invaded Pleasantville minigame as a two-player game of a secret invasion by space aliens. One player is the alien player, moves the alien controlled and uncontrolled pieces, and the other player, the town player, moves the town controlled pieces. There are 12 game turns in the game, and any given turn playing pieces representing various townspeople will be moved across the map board, which is a map of Pleasantville. The alien player will try to keep the whereabouts of the alien-controlled townspeople a secret while he or she takes over more unsuspecting townspeople and builds up strength for the final showdown with the town player. The alien player, in short, will try to create a large army of townspeople zombies, eliminate any opposition, and occupy Pleasantville as a base for further operations. The town player will try to convince the townspeople that there is an alien menace in the town and will attempt to fight any alien-controlled townspeople encountered. With luck and careful play, the town player hopes to defeat the alien-controlled zombies, locate the alien headquarters, and destroy the alien sub-commander. Uh, how you win? Uh, you either uh, defeat the alien sub-commander or... Uh, have half or more of the total influence factors in play under town control at the end of the game. Uh, then there's an explanation of the components. Like each counter has a starting location, movement allowance, influence factor, and combat factor in the name of what it was. There's no artwork whatsoever on the counters. These counters are pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty low quality, and that combined with the uh, terrible artwork on the map. I, I don't know what TSR was thinking. Couldn't they have, like, Paid someone 500 bucks uh, back back then. 500 bucks was a lot of money to uh, give this game decent artwork. Um, let's see here. Preparation for play. That just shows how you set up everything, and you'll roll to see uh, which town's person you are. That's if you're the town player. Uh, sequence of play, random movement phase, alien player movement phase, town player movement phase. Conver uh, conversation and influence phase. You use conversation to figure out if a uh, a pl if a uh, character on the board is being controlled by the aliens. And uh, there's a combat phase, 
in an alien takeover and observation phase. Um, if the aliens uh, take over a person and another person observes it, there's a possibility uh, that by observing it, uh, they'll start to catch on that to there being alien control. I can't remember the exact thing. I just read these uh, rules real b briefly yesterday. I need to re-read them. Um, what else do we have here? Conversation and influence. Here's the modification, the conversation attempts. There's the influence result tables. Combat. Combat seemed pretty straightforward. Combat results table. And there's a possibility that the alien losses could be just knocked out, in which case... Um, after combat, you can tie them up. You can interrogate them to try and figure out where the uh, alien sub-commander is, or you can remove their implants so then they're on your side. Uh, this is talking about alien takeover and observation. And there's an implant, implant removal tab, uh, table, observation table, and game credits. Um, the game rules seem all right. Um... Seemed a little clumsy when I read them, but who knows, the game might actually turn out to be fun to play. Um, there's a lot of hiding things from the other player, so sometimes it can be fun. Um, I do look forward to trying this, but the, the, the components, uh, I mean, they really dropped the ball on the components with the artwork. Uh, I mean, uh, TSR is known for having uh, better artwork than the other companies, so I don't know what they were thinking when they ma made this game. But anyhow, I'll try it and I'll review it whenever I get a chance. Thanks for watching.